intro? Yep, sure. I'm Harry. I'm a, a fellow here at the University of Bristol and I work on um, new energy materials and crystallography as well, around the crystallography service. So how will you describe your research in one sentence? So, new energy materials, hyphen, <laughs> replacing materials that we have from the 1950s. So, yeah. Okay, so what inspired you to be in this profession? Um, new materials are very exciting because you make stuff that no one's ever made before and then you solve the crystal structures and see what you've actually made, so it's, it's just fun. So <laughs> what's the weirdest, coolest or the funniest thing that you've done? Funniest thing that I've done? Or the weirdest, coolest? It's just, um, it's the exciting thing when you make a new material that might be useful. So we have some patents and things, some patents on some materials. That's probably the coolest. So if you're to <laughs> advise the next generation or the younger generation, what advice do you do to be? Um, I think play with the science. That's what I do. It's more discovery based. It's kind of playing with things. And that's okay. just fun. <laughs> so if you're an element of the periodic table, which element you would be and why? <laughs> Um, well, my initials are Hassium, so I sometimes say Hassium, but um, I think Bismuth, my favourite's Bismuth because um, I just use it for a, a lot of things. It's got some very funky properties, so um, why not? <laughs> I'll be Bismuth, please. Bismuth. <laughs> so if you're not in this profession, so what will be your profession in an alternate world? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, no, don't know. Bo born, born for science. There we go. Born for science. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so in other world as well, you will be born for science. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Harry. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs>